Do we really need more toxic post baby bounce back content? I'm Abby Sharp, welcome to Abby's Kitchen. In today's video, we'll be heading back to the classic What I Eat In A Day review style, taking a look at what Victoria's Secret model Romay Stride eats in a day. Don't forget to hit up my description for my disclaimer and my free hunger crushing combo ebook for some balanced meal and snack ideas. And I would also love if you would hit that subscribe button plus like and comment. It really does help my videos reach the people who need it most. I wanna quickly hop in here to tell you about today's sponsor, Blue Land. So I know we're just months away from another set of lofty New Year's resolutions, but I have to say, this was one of the first years that I feel like I actually made some progress on mine. So this year I made a number of sustainability efforts. I have been composting, I switched to all glass products over plastics, I have been buying as much as I can from local farm stands and markets, and I switched to using Blue Land cleaning products. So Blue Land's dishwasher and laundry tablets are a planet-friendly cleaning option because there is no plastic waste. Most detergent pods are wrapped in plastic. Blue Land uses no single-use plastic in any component, and all refills are 100% plastic free. They're also hypoallergenic, which is really important to me because me and my boys have really sensitive skin. And most importantly, they actually work. The dishwasher tablets work without any kind of rinse aid, and the laundry tablets have lifted all of my boys' grass and food stains. And trust me, there's a lot of those. And because we do a lot of laundry and dishes over here, I set up a subscription which are fully customizable and cost-effective. So if you're looking for a more eco-friendly cleaning option, check out my link in the description to get 15% off of your first order. Thank you again to Blue Land for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a more eco-friendly cleaning option, check out my link in the description to get 15% off of your first kit. Okay, breaking news here, folks. The Victoria's Secret show is apparently coming back. TBD if they're going to be going back to their seemingly dated fancy body aesthetic, or if they're going to attempt to play in the inclusive sandbox with competitors like Airy and Savage by Fenty. You pay me in advance? <laughs> Also TBD if our Victoria's Secret model turned YouTuber turned Mama 2 Rome is going to be involved in it in any capacity and if that's in any way a motivator for her to get back in shape. But whatever the motivation for said body goals, let's take a listen to what Rome says about her. I've called this video what I eat in a day to get back in shape. Which shape is obviously different for everyone and which shape I meant the shape where I feel best. So I actually really appreciate the disclaimer here. I mean sure it may still be very triggering to a lot of moms who see this and think holy sh this girl gave birth less than a year ago and this is her second baby. She looks way better than I ever did years after I gave birth to my first, etc. But I believe in body autonomy and I do at least think it's a gentle reminder that everyone's journey is unique. Yes, post baby bounce back culture is toxic AF, but that doesn't mean that taking any efforts to feel more like yourself post baby is. Rame is also a model, so her business is quite literally her business card. So I really don't blame or shame her for wanting to take any efforts to feel and look her best. I mean, as long as she's not sharing crazy dangerous cleanses or diets or detoxes to do it in front of her very vulnerable young audience, I think we're already a few steps ahead. Your sleepless nights are rough and let me tell you, you want comfort food when you like sleep so little. Yep. You do. And there's actually a scientific reason for that. So research suggests that when you've underslept, your hunger hormone ghrelin rises and your satiety hormone leptin plummets. But you're not just hungry for carrots and hummus. Usually you're reaching for those feel good carb rich comfort foods that Romy described. And this is related to an increase in endocannabinoids when you're feeling sleep deprived. So endocannabinoids bind to the same receptors as the active ingredient in marijuana, which as a lot of us know, often triggers the munchies. Hey man, am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. And researchers believe that circulating levels of these compounds specifically make us crave highly palatable, fatty, starchy, sugary foods. People on shift works or new moms or folks who have struggled with insomnia can all attest that getting sleep makes it really 
her to eat well. But as every mother-in-law loves to remind us, this phase two shall pass. I'm trying to balance it out with those days, with healthy days. And this is an example of a day where I try to eat healthy, but this is not what I eat every day, obviously. So. Again, I appreciate this disclaimer because, you know, I just think it's important for new moms to know that it's not realistic to cook every meal from scratch every day. I mean, I would still personally love to see more real mom life food content here where, you know, there's like a balance of eating some convenience foods and carrying a baby on your hip and maybe throwing a rotisserie chicken on a plate with some bags, lettuce and calling it lunch. But at least we've got the memo that this is part reality and part fantasy. So don't feel so bad if you can't keep up because I sure as didn't. And I already put some black coffee in there with ice cubes and I'm adding oat milk. There is so much internet hate around oat milk in coffee these days. Like I'm shocked the anti-oat trolls haven't like flocked to Romy's content section to shame her for her coffee choice. But first of all, you guys know the rule here in Abby's Kitchen, no shaming or trying to change how people take their coffee. Coffee is sacred. Now, recently I went into detail about why people are so anxious about oat milk lattes in my call her daddy video right here. But in short, there's a concern that the combination of sugar in the oat milk and caffeine in the coffee will cause raging anxiety. And my response of course was that it's probably not a huge deal. If you're a regular coffee drinker, these effects on the stress hormone cortisol doesn't seem to be super significant. Now, interestingly, Romy chose the no sugar oatly, which actually got into some hot water recently when its competitor Campbell's Soup Company issued a complaint about their dishonest use of the words no sugar added. It is a bit misleading because while Oatly might not add extra sweeteners to the milk, the way that the oats are processed breaks down the oat starch into simple sugars like maltose, which results in inevitably free or added sugar. And that's probably why they had to change their marketing to have the no in big quotations. Again, I don't think a small amount of sugar here is a huge deal, but if you do experience a blood sugar spike from the oat milk latte or any latte for that matter, because coffee can also transiently increase our blood sugars, it could easily be mitigated by having it with a snack or a meal, which Rome does. So let's take a look. I like to add is like some goji berries. Just put them in there, some almonds and some blueberries and these are frozen because I've heard frozen blueberries are healthier than regular berries. So we're using frozen blueberries. Okay, so this is an amazing new mom friendly breakfast idea here because you can make a big batch of this ahead of time and then you can just like chuck whatever toppings you want in there when it's time to eat. It's also very nutrient dense, about 500 calories with 17 grams each of fiber and protein. Chia seeds are super high in fiber and amazing for supporting regularity. So especially right after you give birth when things are moving a little slower down there, chia pudding can be super key. As for the frozen is healthier than fresh claim, yeah, that is legit, especially for out of season produce or produce that is being shipped from afar. One 2014 report found that when compared to fresh produce, including blueberries that sat in the fridge for just three days, frozen packed higher amounts of antioxidants and polyphenols, anthocyanins, lutein, and beta carotene. Frozen produce is also typically additive and preservative free, super convenient, and often cheaper. So yeah, we are all team frozen over here too. So here we are. We're making a post-workout shake, which is very, very easy. I have my favorite chocolate protein from Nuces. And I'll add in here, I'll add a banana and some frozen blueberries again. Then I'll add water and I'll shake it up. This looks like an amazing post-workout snack. So for post-workout recovery, we often want a combination of protein and carbs without too much fat to slow down their absorption. And this has a little bit of fiber plus energizing carbs and an impressive 27 grams of protein, which is right in that optimal range for muscle protein synthesis. And since getting back in shape is one of Rome's goals, we know that it's advantageous to get at least 0.31 grams per kilogram of protein per meal. So yeah, this shape is definitely Abby approved. Okay, so here we have a whole wheat wrap 
um, and you can heat it up or you can eat it cold. I love it cold. And we're gonna add the guacamole, and then you add the eggs, some feta, and here we go. You roll it up, and it's ready to eat. We love an egg wrap moment for lunch. This is totally a staple for me too. And this is a really great example of a hunger crushing combo. Fiber rich carbs in the wrap, healthy fats in the guac and protein in the eggs. I know I personally would probably need like two of these to feel satisfied. And I just share that in case others are seeing that and feeling the same. But I'm not sure how close she had the smoothie to the lunch. So if the portion works for her, it works for me. We're gonna fruit the onion. I think it's called fruit in English as well. We're adding some spinach now, and I always add a lot because spinach gets very small when you heat it up. Now it's time to add the ricotta cheese. Okay, the pasta is ready, so we're gonna add it in here. Okay, here is the pasta. We're adding the salmon on top. And then the finishing touch, some pine nuts, and a lot of parmigiano. This is gorgeous and I would say relatively simple, though admittedly probably way more ambitious than I would bring myself to make when I was a year postpartum, never mind today, and I'm three years out. Basically, I've got like a mom standard over here that if I spend time making a side dish, I'm gonna take shortcuts on the main protein or vice versa. But anyway, love this journey for her. We got carbs in the pasta, fiber in the spinach, plus protein and healthy fats in the salmon, ricotta, and nuts. It's really beautiful. I really wouldn't change a thing. So I gotta give it to Rome. These are really balanced meals for the days that she's trying to eat healthy. I believe that it doesn't have to be all or nothing. And you know, I stand by the fact that it's probably a lot more helpful for people watching to get a glimpse into that combination of seeing those convenience comfort foods that she talks about and the healthy foods that she shared here. A healthy relationship with food is all about living in the gray. It shouldn't be black or white or on or off or clean or junk, etc. That said, I really do appreciate that even with the goal to get back in shape, Romy doesn't seem to severely restrict anything. We got fiber rich carbs, we got protein, we got healthy fats, we got it all. And based on my calculations, she's likely consuming an appropriate sustainable amount of calories for weight or fat loss, rather than like starving herself on a 1200 calorie diet like so many other wellness influencers or new moms. So yeah, this day looked amazing and was definitely inspiring. And I really wish Rome all the best as a mama too. It's only uphill from here. I mean, unless you try for number three which I won't. And on that note, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on who or what you'd like to see me review next. Hit up the description for my free Hunger Crushing Combo ebook, and I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.